Hi SLers, welcome to my channel. This is your girl Mousy, the ultimate SL clout chaser. So number one, because I always forget, please like and subscribe to my videos. Please like and subscribe, like and subscribe. So I want to give you a variety of experiences in SL and I also want to just mix up my content a little bit. Even though the free gift videos and hair videos and shopping videos do well, even I've, I've just started like nine days ago and I have like 23 followers. I have over 2,000 minutes viewed or something like that. So that really excites me. So thank you guys so much. Big hugs and kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you guys so much for doing that for me. But I want to uh, just diversify my content, right? So I have an idea. It's a, it's like because the New Yorker in me is like, okay, I need a side hustle, like a extra stream of income. Like hopefully one day, I'm doing this hard work now, one day I might meet the threshold to get YouTube monetized. So that's the goal. And I also want to um, just share my SL experience and have these videos. And it makes me feel good to look back on it and just enjoy it and laugh at some of the things I say because I crack myself up sometimes. But also, in addition to that, I'm having this idea relating to real estate. Although my viewers aren't where they should be, like right now they're only at 23 and I've only been doing this for a couple days. What my thought is, is that I could be like a real estate agent in SL, but utilize YouTube so that I can visit places once versus taking many people, a, a large volume of people to visit uh, selected sim at many times and do this on YouTube. So I decided to give that a try, and this is going to be like my affordable, so right now this is just me just uh, being creative and unique and off the cuff. This is going to be my affordable rent situation in a second life, because I think a lot of people know about like the 25 Linden rentals, which are pre- uh, furnished and usually it has a bed and some type of jacuzzi and you can res things up to 23 crims right but I kind of don't like it because the furniture looks very primmy and it's very like outdated it doesn't look good then there's a second option which is the multi-scene rental which is very nice by the way that is a nice option like sometimes it comes with a pool or a jacuzzi or really well furnished and decorated is very nice and you pay 125 lind in a week and it's nice to have a place to call home right now I'm homeless I don't have a place and then I'm offering you a third door or a third option. And this option is something that's unfurnished. It's the size of the room, but it's, um, and I think it's between 75 and 100 Linden. And I found this place completely by accident. So let me um, pan out. So this is a little cottage here that's on sale, that's for rent. And what you would do is click on the requesting rent box and you would get a note card. And I'm just going to read off the note card with the rental information. <coughs> And it says, thank you for requesting information about our rentals. A good size one room home with a porch set against a rock face is close to the lagoon. It's $75 with 75 linden. It comes unfurnished, but if you wish, we could have it furnished for you. But this will only reduce the personal prim allowance. And um, this note card seems to be from a group called Gathered Hands, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just scroll into this a little bit more. Uh, hold on a second. Sorry, babes. Uh, I'm just going to, oh, I can't edit the properties. Let me just see the properties of the note card and see who it's from. Okay, so it looks like it was made by a person called Shan Bright. And um, it says, founder, CEO of Bright Corporation, providing custom development, rental homes, system gadgets, building furniture, art, and adult goods. I'm not telling you to contact him directly. I'm not exactly sure who you would contact. Does the note card say it? It doesn't say. I don't see rental boxes out here either. $75, 75 weeks, click read note, right click to pay rent. Okay, so you just click on the rental box to pay the rent. So you could just move right in. I'm going to put the free Uber ride down below. It's gather the hands techno. It's out. The coordinations is 101 comma 171 comma 21. If this is a moderate sim and then I'm going to pan out to show you. So one of the reasons why I thought this sim would be interesting to you is because first of all, look at the view, the water you can go in. I'm going in with my, uh, Ooh, ah! I didn't realize that was so deep. All right. Can I fly out of here? Holy smoke. I didn't realize that was so deep, you guys, but the water's interactable. Let me stop flying. I screamed like I really fell in water. 
the water is interactable. There's like some orbs out here where you can literally go swimming. There is, I'm wearing my suit because I'm trying to be professional and then look at this. Um, you can literally go swimming, you can go lounging in the water in this airbed thing, and then there's floating devices, so you can interact with this water. There seems to be a tiki bar out here for couples, and it's like really romantic and cute. <coughs> you would have little neighbors. There's another cottage next door. It seems to be unoccupied. Again, 75 lindens for 75 prims. If you needed more prim, a, prim, a larger prim allowance, I guess you would just have to contact the owner. There's more rentals here. So if you have a, a family, maybe you guys want to just come on this sim and just rent here. Uh, another one, Dorina Cottage number one. So it says Maya's Beach Shack number two, 50 lindens a week with 25 prims. So we'll go in there and look. <clears throat> 25 prim is so little. I don't know what you'll be able to do with that. Okay, and we have to go into the water to get in. I'm the real estate agent no one hired. All right, so this is 50 linden in a week, and it's already decorated. It's very cute. Um, they opted to put a couch in here instead of a bed, and if you're a writer, this is your writer's retreat, you could come in here and write. But they decorated actually pretty nicely for the limited amount of prims that they have, and they used things that was like two land impact. This is four. That's actually quite expensive. This one is two. You know, they use things for low land impact. Uh, and this one is two as well. Okay, great. So we have that. So this one is 50 linden um, for 25 prims. And it's already pre-decorated, but you have 25 prims, I assume, to rent things. All right, and this is 50 linden, 25 prims as well. And it looks to have the same decor. I could see from out here with the typewriter. And then we're going to go back to the, let me just see here, because my draw distance is not that um, close. So I just want to see if this is also part of the land. And I, it looks to be, let's see what this is. We're just touring the space here. What is this? gather the hands etiquette and home rent rules let's just go through all of these yeah we should know about this so gather the hands etiquette we have no rules really we prefer to call them guidelines or etiquette so here are some pointers show respect for our neighbors we share the sim with no peeking in and certainly do not enter their land okay that is one rule so that's common sense like don't go on other people's property guys don't be a dimwit respect other members you might not like one or two but show them love we have two main areas sea level where we have the hot tub bar grill the meeting pavilion the lagoon where you can enjoy relaxed time this is where our rental units are located all members can use sea level in the facilities there dress code is informal and yes nudity is permitted this i thought this was a moderate sim okay obviously nothing overly sexual is in this moderate sim regarding the hot tub please be discreet if no one's about and do not embarrass anyone the zen garden here you will find our tranquil gardens a walled zen garden the gaming area meeting room and meditation room as well as other points of interest including the information center many places on this level have an asian or oriental theme i don't like the word oriental but Asian is fine. This is purely aesthetic. We are not a Buddhist sim, although we may lean toward the philosophies. All beliefs or none are welcomed at Gather the Hands. As long as they do not bring harm to others, dress code is still informal. However, there's no reason to be naked on this level. Any who indulge will be asked to leave or dress. We will respect two rules. Too strict. We will end with two strict rules. Respect others at all times. Enjoy what we have and make it fun and namaste. So you know when somebody says namaste, like, you know, they're on some spiritual shit. And they're, like, trying to be all zen. They want to create a community, it seems like. <clears throat> it seems like they want to create a community and they want to um, not only have rentals, which are, like, scattered and spread out. They have, like, these common areas where people can hang out and interact with each other, sit in the jacuzzi. Like, just a real community. Okay. Preamble, our units will be rented to the members of the group Gather Hands. Ooh, so it looks like you're going to have to join the group. We try to have a few rules as possible and rely on your respect for other members and the neighbors we share the sim with. Our aim is to have in having rentals is to build a community, so please make Gather the Hands home. See, what did I tell you? Our units are small. Oh, so if you want to make this your second home, that's okay. Oh, ballers, second home. We make the cost of renting as fair as we can, and we offer you home rentals at varying sizes and prices, ranging from 50 linden a week for a small furnished beach cottage to the largest two-room unit at 150 linden, all with generous prim impact allowance. The rules. 
small print bit. Rules are not strictly enforced, but ours is as follows. Let me take a sip of my drink. Okay. All rentals are offered to our members and their friends on a weekly basis with a special offer of 15% rebate on any that are rented for a full four-week period. That is good to know. So let's do the math on that really quick, guys. So if you ended up with a... Uh, 75 a week, so 75 times 4 on average days, 4 weeks, you're paying 300 linens a week, which is like the price of an outfit, so don't be cheap, guys, right? Times 15%. The discount you would get on that is... Hold on a second. $45, okay? So the discount you'd get on that is $45 for a weekly buy, which is... So you get almost a little over half a week for free. Okay, tenants that run over their rent period will have three days grace to catch up with the rent owed, else tenancy will be ended and your items will be returned by one of our officers. Three days is generous. I've had my shit returned after one day and I was furious because, like, something happened and I couldn't get online. This will not be an automatic event, which means that your cottage furniture and such will be returned. But any other items that you have generously donated around the land or use will be left where they stand. We hope that all members agree and follow the group guidelines on behavior, dress, and lack of within Gather the Hands. But we acknowledge that while the sin is moderate rated, which means there should be nothing overtly sexual in public, we can, however, turn a blind eye to what goes on inside your cottage. We also respect others in the group and will not go camera prying or raising complaints about what goes on behind someone's closed doors. Tell them we don't need any nosy, nosy neighbors. Like, we don't mind noisy neighbors, but no nosy neighbors. What's more, laughing out loud, we are renting, so no doubt we may need more rules um, at a later date to cater for unforeseen circumstances, so please bear with us. So this looks like one of the kind of like main gathering spaces, like you sit here and you could talk, you could chill, there are couches, I actually like those beat up old couches. <coughs> there are free corp four, four free copies of this sign, the only real things in Second Lives are our feelings, so please take care of each other. Aww. I'm just going up the stairs, and there's an area, I guess if you want to donate a chair, you could sit out here and look at the view, and if you look down there, there's like a tiki bar with a fire pit, there is um, some type of wave runner situation there, the jacuzzi, which they ask you, like, don't embarrass people and be all naked naked, but like, and so there are two loft areas where you could kind of look out at the view of the beach. So this is kind of a nice area where you have great indoor and outdoor space. I don't know where this Zen garden is. I'll try to find it. And I want to find that 150 Linden rental as well. So let's look at that. Because my draw distance is not that far. So this is $5 a week? Hold on a second. This must be a mistake. So this... Is this five dollars or uh oh I think I just lost a shitload of money. Is two thousand Linden I don't remember how much money I have. I'm gonna pay again. Let's just see. Okay, it's five Lindens. Alright, no biggie. I lost ten Lindens. This may not be priced properly. Five linden seems really small. But, and it says 100 prims, that's a lot. So this is a one-room cottage, but it has 100 prims? Maybe the prim count is wrong. Alright, so I guess I have a place in SL temporarily. So five lindens, okay, we see that. So I paid for that. Why do I always find pricing errors? I'm pretty sure that doesn't sound right. Alright, I'm, I'm looking for the 150 linden. So this is 100 a week with 100 prims. I'm pretty sure that other place was like... I'm sure it wasn't 5 lindens. I'm just like sure of it. Because this is the same layout and it has 100 prims. So it's telling you what the current house furnishings is. So this is a bed, a table, two chairs, table setting, 
leather sofa, wall lamps, furniture, veranda chairs, all 35 linden. Okay. Are there any adult stuff on this bed? Couple relax solo. And what is utilities? Changing the seats. No, bro. We need an adult bed. So if you get this cottage, you're going to have um, 35 lindens already used. But this one is 100 linden a week. All right. I always find price errors, you guys. So we're at 15 minutes. And you know that I'm a long-winded hoe. So, like, I'm just going to try to keep this uh, my talking to a minimum. So what is this one? This one's 150. Okay. This must be the two bedroom. So this is 150 with 150 prims. So guys, remember when I did my scripting, I showed you guys the college of music and scripting, and this was a very easy script. So let's go to edit. And I don't know if we'll be allowed to go into the properties or the scripting and stuff. So the rental box. Okay, we can't open the script. I was going to change anything, but I was going to show you how simple the script was. And this probably has a pay script. So that's like, there's addition to that. But anyways, this is 150 Lindens. And let's see how big that is. And it's for 150. Um, and you have this whole beach outdoor area for 150 prim. <clears throat> and we have this really primmy looking furniture not a fan of this so it's two rooms but you could put like a divider over here and create a bathroom or a kitchen or something like that and then this is the bedroom but the furniture is awful in this in this area but 150 linden is not bad for 150 prim it's a dollar a prim okay Okay, so there we go there. And then I'm going to take you into the 75 Linden. I'm sorry, guys, if my draw distance is far, because I just want you guys to see what it looks like. And that's completely unfurnished. This is my first time around, like, really taking a, a real look at this place. All right, so we looked at these. These cottages were 25 prims, and I think it's 50 Linden a week. And then you can go to $60, 60 Linden sale and Saturday sale and you can decorate this place. I'm sure it wouldn't take much. The only thing I cannot find is the Zen Garden. You can swim out here. You can do a lot of things. All right. And so let's go in here. And this is the 75 Linden, 75 Prim. So I think you could put a kitchen here and you could do like either a living room set or you could do a living room set and then you could also do uh, like a bedroom set here. I think I like the two bedroom better, but 75 linen, I mean, but this is fine. So this is what it is. This is the what we have here for rent. Um, I highly recommend it. So if you need a tranquil Zen place to be, this is where you should come. So um, please, if you're interested, I'm going to see how to join the group of Gather the Hands. And if there is a group URL, I will leave it down below. I'm just positioning myself in front of the for rent sign because I want to take my picture for the thumbnail. So let's see. Is there a Gather the Hand group? Is everything deeded to the group? Okay, add it. No permissions, general. Okay, gather the hands group. All right, I'm going to join this group. But in addition to that, I'm going to also put the SURL in my thumbnail. So I think this is a really cute, quaint community if you wanted to rent a home. And you could tell a couple family members. Maybe I tell, especially those of you guys who have SL families, tell your entire family and take up the whole community. I mean, I don't know if that's very community-like, but... Uh, this is just one of my ideas. <laughs> Anyways, please enjoy. Um, thank you so much for watching. And as I said, this is a place that you can rent an SL just to give you an idea of what kind of communities are available. This one is completely open and completely free. 
uh, not free, but it's completely open and it's completely unoccupied. Therefore, you are free to like invite your friends to rent next to you, and then you guys can all hang out after hours, have like your SL drinks and so on, have SL barbecues, and have SL get togethers on Saturdays or Sundays with your backyards. It's small for those who have like their SL families, but I don't know. Like, I think the two room one can work. Like, you don't have to. Like, just like real life, like, we don't all live in mansions, and it doesn't have to be so expensive. It could be, like, just really chilled and relaxed and decorated to your liking, a nice beachy community. So, hope you like this, and I hope you continue to watch, and I hope this is the start of a really um, awesome real, real estate series that I start on this channel. SL Real Estate Series that I start. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my fumbling and bubbling. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.